Welcome to another Singa Segura tutorial. Today, we will learn more about how to integrate the Active Directory as an authentication server in Singa Segura. This integration requires a few steps. You must have a domain controller and a credential you can use as a service user. Where can I find the domain controller? Devices, devices, and the domain controller must be configured and connected to the LDAP ports 389 and 636. Now, here are the credentials for my service user. Mine is called LDAP Sync, as you can see here. So now we are ready to start. First, go to Settings, Authentication, and Providers. Clear all the filters to see all the provider type is compatible with Senha Segura. Now, let's enable the LDAP Active Directory provider. OK, done. And the next step is to add an LDAP authentication server. Under Active Directory, choose Servers. Senha Segura has a default template that is automatically added to the application and you can modify it to your needs. However, in this video, I'll create a new one from scratch. On the upper right corner, click the action button to add a new server. First, add either the hostname or server IP address. Keep the LDAP port as is. Choose a service credential for authentication. Here is mine. DN stands for Distinguished Name. If you don't know the distinguished name of your domain, all you have to do is go to Active Directory, right-click the root folder, choose Properties, Attribute Editor, and look for Distinguished Name. Copy what you see here and paste onto this field. Mine is Senha Segura Local. The account form should be Main. Type in the account name Mine is sensegura.local. My short name is only Sensegura. Bring the order back to 1 because this represents the level of priority, okay? And finally save these changes. Done. To prevent any future issues, remember to disable the default server Senha Segura automatically created. Use the Edit button and then disable the server. To save, you will have to add a credential for authentication. I'll choose a random credential just to complete this step and now the server has been disabled. Now that we are all set, I'll run a quick authentication test on my main server. I'll use the action button to test the authentication. And for this test, you could choose any user from this domain, provided you know the password, of course. I'll use LDAP Sync user. Let me see if it works. Here it is. Yes, the server has been successfully authenticated. Finally, if you want to sync the Active Directory users to Senha Segura, you will have to create a synchronization group. 
This is what led Singer Segura finds the information in AD. On the left hand side, go to Settings, Authentication, Group Synchronization. Singer Segura also has a default template for these groups. We can simply edit this template. And in this example, I won't change the name, but there are a few things I'd like to change. One is the server. Turn on synchronization. And paste the distinguished name of my domain here, like we did in the previous screen. AD Query tells Singa Segura how to request user information to the Active Directory. You don't have to change the first two elements, but you should change this last part here where we establish what groups will be synced. And where do I find this information? Well, simply look for the group's distinguished name. Right-click the group, go to Properties, Attribute Editor, Distinguished Name, copy it, and paste it to Singa Segura in the AD Query field. We can also establish roles, in other words, what permissions these users will have in the Singa Segura platform. Let's say I want all the users who come from this group to have administrator privileges. So simply check the box System Administrator. Finally, we should set up access groups and decide what credentials these users will have access to. Since these are administrators, they will have full access. But I want them to be users. And I'll save these changes. Now, all that is left to do is run a synchronization test. Click the Simulate button. And here it is. It even tells me that the user LDAP sync will be created right after synchronization is complete. Wait a couple of minutes to check if everything is OK. On the left hand side, go to Synchronized Users. And here is the user as promised. You can also see it by going to User Management and Users. Here it is again. That was it for today and thank you for your time.